there's probably just one thing more iconically British than the Queen, and that's fish and chips. Even the royal family fancies this delicious dish. It's so ingrained in British culinary culture that the first Friday in June is National Fish and Chip Day. But the origins of this meal can be traced to Europe. How did this dish arrive in England? Why is it such a British favorite? And what does it have to do with a Jewish merchant, migration, Belgian housewives, and World War II? Keep munching your way through those chips and we'll give you the answer in a minute. And save some for me. There are few food pairings as famous as fish and chips. It consists of white fish deep fried in oil and served with hot, fluffy chips or french fries, as Americans call them. In the UK, local fish and chip shops, also called chippies, sell 382 million portions per year. I wonder how many of those get delivered to Buckingham Palace. But how did this duo become so iconic? Let's start with the fish. Preparing fish as a main meal began in the 10th century. A Jewish merchant returned home to Oman and presented his ruler with a gift of fish. During this time, people had started switching from beef to fish as their main source of protein. Fish gained popularity among Jews, and as they migrated, it became a dominant culinary staple in other countries. By the 16th century, Sephardic Jews from Spain and Portugal had made their way to the UK and brought a new way of cooking fish with them. They covered it with flour and fried it in oil, called it pescado frito, and usually prepared it for Shabbat. The next day, they ate any leftovers cold. But what about the chips? Most important part. Well, you might think that those came from France due to the French fries moniker used in North America, but you'd be wrong. What? No. You can thank 17th century Belgian homemakers for that fluffy deliciousness, and I shall. Thank you, Belgian homemakers. In winter, when the rivers froze and it was impossible to fish, the housewives looked for a fish substitute. Luckily for all of us, they found potatoes are perfect for the job since they're easy to fry in oil. They even cut the spuds into fish shapes. Oh, I love them. The British didn't invent the recipes for the fish or the chips, but they did have the brilliance to combine the two. Mm. Joseph Mollen was a member of the Ashkenazi Jewish community, and he opened the first chippy in London in 1863. He was the first person to serve warm fish with chips. Britons tasted the combo and loved it. The dish became so ingrained in the culture that it served as a morale booster during World War II. When the British government imposed a rationing plan during the war, fish and chips were not subject to it, since the meal helped people cheer up during that deadly time. Mm, uh, happy. And fish and chips was used as a code name during the D-Day landings. When visibility was low on the battlefield, British soldiers would identify their locations with one person yelling, fish, and another yelling, chips. I bet the enemy thought they were just ordering food. Now you know, the British didn't create fish and chips. French fries didn't originate in France. And do you know that McDonald's didn't invent chicken nuggets? What? To find out who did, Check out that episode of Origins of Food. <laughs> <laughs>